What up? GA Stance House. GA Stance House. The gang's here. And we're gonna do uh, a few things to the RX-8, but let's get started. Let's do it! First things first, we gotta put the sticker on. This is the initiation. Initiation? Yeah. Make sure you clean the window before you put it on. <laughs> Which we did off camera. <laughs> of course. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so this is a package that I received from Puerto Rico. Um, and this, I actually found on another guy's video, I think he was building a Lexus drift car, uh, LS swap. And one thing that an LS swap needs is a three quarter inch or larger master cylinder bore. This guy who had the Lexus, I will put his, I'll put a link in the description maybe because it was a really good idea. Um, he has the same problem I do where the mount on the firewall is actually at an angle. So if I were to buy a um, Willwood master cylinder with a reservoir, the reservoir would actually sit at an angle, which wouldn't be good. So he did his research, which thank you for that, and found that the 1987 Toyota Land Cruiser actually uses a three quarter inch master cylinder bore and it sits at an angle. So that's what I got. This is a, just an OEM replacement. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I think I might have to drill another hole because I think the whole pattern is a little off, but um, this should fit right in there and sit at an angle and my reservoir should uh, sit vertical, which is what I need. Pretty nice looking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first step um, is to remove the automatic transmission module computer um, because we won't be needing that. Nope. So no chance. So yeah, first thing, uh, this transmission module is actually bolted in in the same spot that the clutch pedal gets bolted in. Um, so they just use the same mounting points down there. Bro, he left you a fry. Right up there. So that'll get removed um, and unplugged. I think I need to save a wire from that uh, for some reason, but I don't have enough knowledge on that right now to talk about it on camera. So <laughs> I'll figure that out later. <laughs> we'll see you in the next clip. So what'd you find, Nick? Yo, so apparently this guy used to own a Subaru. He got his little jewel pods here. <laughs> And oh, then wait. Kate just like, hey, check this out. And we're all like, oh, man. <laughs> it's like whenever you, it's like whenever you collect, like, I don't know. Did anybody else collect the different colored monster can tabs? <laughs> Got to keep your, your empty vape pods. So we've got a brake job here. We got $300 worth of brake parts. We got some oh. new calipers, new rotors. Are they new? They look a little rusty to me. I don't know. Fuel tank leak. I mean, that's Whoa. close. Passenger airbag replacement. Complimentary car wash. Look at that. I mean, someone took care of it at least, so that's good. All right, there it is. And there's the uh, aftermath of it. Oh, of geez. a really tight nut. Oh, dude, you got wrecked. Dang. First blood already. First blood on the RT. <laughs> Much more blood to come on this one. We didn't blood even start money. We didn't even start working on the LS once it's in the engine bay. <laughs> Get bloody knuckles. Oh, dude. This dude spent $150 on an oil change at Jiffy Lube. Whoa. Dude, freaking wrecked. Is that like the is that like the infinite oil? Like the you rotary, never change it? The rotary special. Yes. Yeah, must be it. some super slippery stuff. So the next step is actually to get this uh, a little plastic. Oh, I see it. Punch it out. Bro, another one. Oh wait. Sure. All right, so the next step uh, is to see how far off we are with this hole. You can see um, this actually isn't symmetrical. So this hole actually goes out a little bit further. Um, so we might have to drill a new hole um, and it looks like we're gonna have to, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> So 
So I was just test fitting this up. Um, that way I could see what I need to cut and what I need to not cut. Um, so originally my plan was I was gonna drill another hole in the firewall for this, but then that would also mean I need to modify this whole clutch pedal assembly um, to fit that hole. What I'll do is just drill another hole in my master cylinder. Um, the only downside of that is every time I would have to replace a master cylinder, which hopefully isn't often, <laughs> um, I would have to drill a hole in it, which isn't a big deal. Check out who it is. What's up? Matt Ward. Has he appeared in any of your clips yet? Not yet. So yeah. this is the grand reveal. We were Look the same, act the same. Yeah. up drilling this hole got a nice shiny bolt and put a nut on both ends of those and we'll be good to go the next step will be hooking up the clevis to that push rod or whatever you want to call it so, yeah. i call it a push rod push rod oh this is also i'm upside down here embarrassing this. yeah don't all your fluids gonna leak out. Don't worry, we're, we'll cut that out. Perfect. Perfect. So now the only thing that's left is, like I said, hook that up and um, remount the hole in the firewall so it clears this lip on the master cylinder. Should fit right in. All right. So what I'm gonna do here, um, I'm trying to fit this um, this push rod, I guess is what I'd call it, um, so that the clevis fits onto the. Uh, pedal and right now it's too long So what we need to do is cut off some threads and then we also need to cut off um, I'd say about like a quarter inch off of this so that I can thread on further Because uh, right now it's too long and it's engaged even whenever the pedal isn't pushed down We're in the car uh, heading to Harbor Freight um, so uh, the hole in the firewall is not big enough for the little lip on this master cylinder um, And I just don't have the right tool to open that hole up. So I'm gonna go see um, If I can find a hole saw that's the right size Peep the rental car while mine's in the body shop. Yeah, somebody wrecked Matt's Matt's car. So He's got the rental car so we can about do whatever we want in this thing, right? <laughs> okay Dude, you should have seen me the other day. I ripped this Johnson. <laughs> you want some key? I'm all right right now. All right, screw you too. So our trip to Harbor Freight was successful, I think. Yeah, Harbor Freight, baby. Oh, these oh. go up to the perfect size I, I need, I think, one and three eighths. So I'm going to use these to remount the hole. Yeah, come on. I have the wide angle on because I'm going to go down low. Nick's going to feed this master cylinder down through and uh, I'm going to try to get everything lined up and get the nuts on just to hold it in place. Okay, I try to push it in. All right, man, this video is going to be shaky. All right, we got those uh, nuts on finger tight and now the last thing is just this pin and clip to hold that clip into the pedal arm. So to get that master cylinder to slide into the hole in the firewall, um, you need to drill a one and three eighths hole. Um, I just got a Christmas tree bit, like I showed earlier, and that went up to one and three eighths. So I just popped that thing through and then the master cylinder um, fit right in perfect. So um, that's what we did there. I got the pin in through the actual clutch arm itself um, and then put the clip on the other side of it. Uh, right now, as you can see, my 
brake pedal is the automatic brake pedal. So I'm gonna actually chop this off here. Uh, right now it's sitting, I'd say about a half inch out past the brake pedal, which I don't think is a big deal. I can always adjust that later just by shortening that push rod. Um, but yeah, for now that's fine. We, we went ahead and tightened up all the bolts. It's gonna have to come back out again, but uh, just to make sure it all fits right. There's two bolts holding in the pedal bracket itself and then the two bolts holding uh, the master cylinder to it. Here's the look from the outside of the car. Um, as you can see, the firewall itself has a little bit of a, um, I guess, slant to it this way. Uh, so, but it sits at the same angle as the uh, brake master cylinder and the brake booster. And then the reservoir sits almost perfectly vertical, which is what I wanted. So um, I'm really happy with it. But yeah, it fits really well. And I'll have enough room here, plenty of room here in the RT8 to fit my adapter to the AN line. And then my 90 degree AN line will run down below the brake, brake booster into the transmission. So that's the final look. Thanks to Nick. Done deal. It'll have to come back out again, like I said, but um, it's fitting good and I think it should work, work how we need it to. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, uh, if you're looking for a three quarter inch master cylinder, this video was a little helpful for you. Otherwise, hopefully you just enjoyed it. I don't know if we're entertaining or not. This guy's entertaining. No, no. <laughs> so anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, and look out for the next video. See ya. See ya.